All right, guys, so if we jump over to heliumnoob.com, uh, scroll down a little bit where it says step three, pick your install accessories. There's a button here for rack wireless outdoor enclosure. So if you click on that link, it's going to take you right out to Rack's uh, website. Now, what's kind of cool about that link is it's going to uh, default your device compatibility to Rack Hotspot Miner. I will caution you just double check to make sure that it has done that for you uh, because there are some developer kits that are designed for this enclosure as well. So we want to make sure that we have Hotspot Miner um, selected. Next thing you're going to look at is the plug standard. So depending on the country you live in, your wall outlets may be different. Um, so for me, I'm going to pick the United States. That way when this uh, enclosure comes in and I start to use it I, and you know, I go to plug it in, it actually works with my outlets. So that's, uh, that's why I pick US. Um, quantities, uh, that amount that you, you know, that you need to order. Um, and then what I thought was kind of cool is they do this check to include um, section here at the bottom um, and they list their antennas. Now if you were going to upgrade your antenna, I would suggest that you do it all at once. It tends to be cheaper to do that because you can combine your shipping costs. So just an idea, um, again, if you want to do it separate, go for it. Um, or if you're still unsure, then, you know, hold off. But it, if you're going to do it anyways, do it all at once. That way you can combine those shipping costs. Um, but again, make sure that you're picking the right antenna for what you want. So if you're going to do the 8 dBi antenna, let's say, um, and you live in the United States, you're going to pick the one that's for 900 to 930 megahertz. So we check that, and then there's the only other option for the antenna is the type of connector on it. So the enclosure has a female um, N-type connector on the outside of it. Um, so on the on the antenna, you're going to make sure you have an N-type male. Um, if for some reason you needed a different style connector for your antenna, it does allow you to pick um, the other two options here. Um, but in most instances, your connector type will be N-type male. Um, other than that, you just go ahead and click the Add to Cart. Um, and then it's like any other online shopping cart, you know, you just click checkout, put your, uh, your billing information, your shipping information, um, and then uh, complete your uh, purchase, and then they send it out to you.